My name is Lori Niebrig. I'm a speech pathologist here at Yavapai Regional Medical Center. And one of the questions that we commonly hear from our Parkinson's patients and their families is what exactly is the Lee Silverman Voice Treatment Program? So I was hoping my coworker Jill could explain that a little bit better. Sure. Thanks, Lori. My name is Jill, and I'm also one of the other speech pathologists here at YRMC. And when our first patients first come in and they ask me what is LSVT, I tell them it stands for Lee Silverman Voice Treatment. And it's a specific program designed after a woman named Lee Silverman back in the 1980s who had Parkinson's. And her family was very frustrated by her inability to communicate and began mumbling her words. So along with collaborating with her physician and other SLPs in their area, they developed a specific program in order for her to regain her voice and be able to communicate with her family and friends more effectively. Another question that our patients generally have is they want to understand what the treatment program actually entails. So I thought my coworker Lori could explain exactly what Lee Silverman Voice Treatment Program is all about. Sure thing. Thanks, Jill. The LSVT program is a fairly intensive program. It requires a commitment of coming in four days a week for a four-week period of time. Within that time frame of a month, there's homework every day, but the intensity is well rewarded at the end. The program is basically a therapy circle. On the one side, we use very intense, uh, high effort vocal exercises combined with uh, hierarchical speech uh, speaking exercises to really work on strengthening the muscles involved in vocal loudness. On the other side of that circle, on the patient's side of it, we work very hard to improve their perception of their loudness. With Parkinson's patients, they don't always perceive correctly whether they are loud or whether they are soft. So we help them recalibrate their listening, so to speak, so that they learn how to use their new loud voices. So the therapy program we use comes along with a software program that gives our patients some visual feedback so they know how they're doing. Just as an example, one of the first exercises we do is a maximum duration phonation to improve their vocal strength. So they'll see this screen and we'll go through a series of 15 trials of a loud, good quality awe as Jill will demonstrate. Uh... What we're looking at here is actually a blue line that shows the patient's loudness level. They can use that as feedback, so if they need to be louder, they bring up their loudness level. We encourage them to keep it within the green screen. It works really well. Uh, for our patients so they can not only hear but they can see their loudness levels. Another exercise that we use during our therapy session involves changing their pitch so they learn some vocal flexibility. So an example of this is going from a normal pitch to a high pitch and Jill will show us what that looks like. And the patient again here will see a change in the piano keys to know that they are indeed changing their pitch. When we work on the hierarchy of actual speaking exercises, and here they get to actually practice using their loud voices in functional speaking. So we run through a series of sentences where they practice loudness in talking like this. Good morning. You want coffee? No customers today? And again, they can see their voice in the green box 
to help them understand that they are within their target loudness.